Our next guest has a very inspiring story. Uh, she went on a trip to Uganda, which was supposed to inspire her next science fair idea, but what actually took place led to something that's even more powerful. We'd like to welcome here to CT Style student Grace Herrick, from Newtown, Connecticut. Welcome here, Grace. Hi, thank you. Absolutely. So so this is uh, pretty cool. We're excited to have you on the show today because if it weren't for this trip, you would actually be at the science fair, which is also very important. But this trip to Uganda really started and inspired you to, to be on this mission to help out the people of, of Uganda. Tell us all about uh, the, the mission of your project. Uh, I went to Uganda this past summer um, through Danbury Hospital's Global Health Program. Um, ever since I can remember, I've always been uh, involved in promoting issues with health, education, and in the environment. Mm -hmm. And I've used different platforms to promote these issues like Girl Scouts of America and the Connecticut State Science Fair. Mm -hmm. um, I went to Uganda to get inspiration for a, my next science fair project. <laughs> um, and when I got there, I actually realized that um, it was um, a greater, there was a greater need, mm -hmm. which was access to quality education and healthcare. So I decided to use the Girl Scouts of America uh, Gold Award, it's actually the 100th uh, year anniversary of the Gold Award this year, um, to create a preschool program in Uganda in the Nakasaki district. Mm -hmm. That's so important, I think, because it's something that we definitely take for granted here in the United States, not only reading, but uh, health care as well. Now, 71% of children drop out of primary school in Uganda, which is scary. And there's also a report that at least 250 million primary school aged children are unable to read. So I think it's so important that you're creating this program. And at, at such a young age, how, how old are you? 17. 17. So it's great to have young leaders here in the state of Connecticut. But but what is the, the predicament right now? There, there are... Uh, there are a lot of people in Uganda who, who want to sign up for this program, but there's not enough room, so we need to raise some money and, and help you out. Yes, so I've created my preschool curriculum. Um, it's uh, with the help of a, an early childhood educator, we developed a, a program. Mm -hmm. um, I implemented it in the Nakasaki District at ACCESS, which is called, uh, stands for African Community Center for Social Sustainability, mm -hmm. um, which is in the Nakasaki District, one of the most impoverished nations in this world. Mm -hmm. um, and it's currently running on Saturdays uh, for two hours with these children. Um, I have uh, over 100 families right now on a waiting list. Um, including pregnant mothers. Um, I've completed my gold award requirements and I'm in the process of writing um, my final report. Mm. And now I want to build off of this project and actually create a school um, for all That's these great. people on the waiting list. Where, where can people check you out on Facebook? Because we, um, we have to help you out here. I have a Facebook link, Uganda Reads. Uh, there's also a GoFundMe link. Um, and I really just want to get the word out and people support. Yeah. And I mean, it's it's so great that uh, the Girl Scouts of America have have helped you so support you through this. What what have you learned not only from your trip to Uganda but through the Girl Scouts? I mean, obviously, a, a very empowering group. Um, I've been in Girl Scouts since I was in the first grade, and I'm now a junior in high school. Um, and through all of my experiences, I've learned um, you really you can't take things for granted. Um, my parents have always been my inspiration and they've taught me the value of service to others and I'm going to continue doing that throughout my life. Great, very inspiring. Mom is over there. Mom, you should be proud over there for, uh, for, for, uh, for, for raising such a leader here in our local community. So again, make sure that you check out her Facebook page. The, the name of it one more time. So people Uganda can... Reads. All right, Uganda Reads. Head on over to Facebook right now. Please support the cause. Uh, very, very great cause. We have more coming up here on the show today on CT Style.